I'm going to talk about a little bit about graphic styles right now. And if you look up at the top here, it's going to show you that this has no fill. That's what that red slash means. And that it has a black stroke. And that this stroke is one point in thickness. Now you can change these. Let's say I wanted to fill this for some reason with yellow. I would tap the yellow. And now it's filled with yellow. For the stroke, you can see black is currently selected for the stroke. But maybe I wanted to use red. So if I press red, it turns red. If I press orange, it turns orange. If I turn purple, it turns purple. You get the idea. At any rate, the combination of the fill and the stroke are a style. If I want to create a style that represents that, I'm going to select this. And I'll go to Graphic Styles. And then I'll press New Graphic Style. And I will call this uh, Black Line No Fill. To describe it and you can see that has been added on to my list of styles well, let me show you what you can do with that I'm going to select this again and give it a green fill and a magenta stroke if I wanted to change that back later on to a black line no fill I press the V key to select drag across the object and then simply tap the graphic style that I want it to look like and then in fact turns into that style. All of my inking I do in black and white, so my graphic styles don't change the colors, but you may want to know how to do that. The other thing though is that the brushes are part of this graphic style. So if I select this brush stroke, you can now see that it's selected inking brush medium and that there's also uh, no fill in a black stroke. And so that is a graphic style as well, and if you wanted to you could press this, press new graphic style and call it brush stroke medium no fill so what would happen if I chose this and selected it but then changed it to a brush stroke no fill it ends up adopting some of the characteristics of that stroke so one of the advantages of this are that if you select this stroke and then you determine later boy you know I wish that I had done that with a bold pen instead you can click on that and it still retains all of the calligraphy the thick and thin but now it's done as if you had already done it in a bold brush stroke there's the medium which is where we started with you'll see later on that I'm going to require some of these things to have a white fill in them and so that's where the styles are going to come in Illustrator also treats uh, these lines as objects so if I use the V key to select and pick up something, it moves the entire object. You can also join objects together by selecting a whole bunch of them. And then right click and use this thing called a join. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake actually. It's group. So once you have it as a group now, you, no matter what, you pick it up and the whole thing moves together. You can also click this and then right click and press ungroup. You can also choose what things are grouped together, maybe just these. But if you want to add this, you press the shift key and just run over that as well. If you wanted to deselect this and I don't want this to be part of the group, I press the shift key and do the same thing. So now these three items are collected into a group. I can right click and go to group or I can press command G to group it and now these items all move together. See it a little bit easier? I will delete that. So I'm just going to press undo, undo, get everything back to where it was before.